it's in Nanda with sphincter envy. It is about 15 minutes after midnight. Uh, it's now 4.21.2014. So yesterday was 4.20 and I had a really good day. I spent it with my sister and Sean. We watched two movies. We watched the new animated, well, it's not new, but new with a peacock. It's not in theaters anymore. Uh, movie Ma uh, Migration. It was cute. And then we watched um, The Mask, which I hadn't seen since before my stroke, and there was a reason for that. It's because it's not a great movie. Um, the mask character is so obnoxious. I could not deal with that person in my life. Oh my god, I would just kill them, knock their knees out from under them, even though it probably wouldn't hurt them. Anyways, so I had a good day. I had a big ass bowl of honey mustard rice with almonds breakfast with silk in it so delicious that food is like candy oh and it was the last bowl last bowl of the box too that's just the best bowl of that shit because it's got all the crumbly bits in the bottom all the good bits of granola from the cluster in it oh my god it's so good <laughs> you would have an extra bowl of it if there was one but there's not um, <laughs> oh yeah, for lunch I had a, uh, dairy-free yogurt, which was interesting, it was made with coconut milk. I'm trying more and more of this plant-based vegan stuff just because I want to lose weight and be healthier. And for dinner I had two packs of cinnamon spice oatmeal, which was awesome. Sean put some hazelnut creamer in it, sugar-free coffee mate, which is not great for you. So I'm going to try and cut down to one pack of that. It's the creamer that's not great for you, not the oatmeal. Um, but I highly recommend the cinnamon spice oatmeal, um, especially if you like snickerdoodle cookies. Um, if you add the hazelnut creamer, tiny bit to it. Oh man, it tastes just like snickerdoodle. So I did that. I'm such a foodie. <laughs> One of my nurses says, uh, everyone has a fat girl inside them and you have to feed it or else she'll come out. Well, my fat girl has come out a little bit too much lately and so I'm trying to get on a diet. just can't stand the fat underneath my face. It's bothering me. But Anyway, so, um, had some, just an update, I've had some um, emotional stuff go on with my life, so I wasn't writing for a while, but recently got back into it, which is cool, um, I'm really happy about that, I'm still going to therapy, which is great, or whatever, you know, it, I don't go to therapy, I guess, still do, but my appointments are online. Oh, I have to tell you something I'm annoyed with. I have to replace the picture behind me because OnlyFans, uh, I know it's a good thing, but it sucks for me. They want my friend's consent, the girl that's, or the woman rather, my friend who's in the picture with me, they want her consent, and not only do they want her consent, they want her to be tagged with an OnlyFans account. So, and she doesn't have an OnlyFans account because she doesn't model anymore. And I'm not gonna ask her to devote all this time into setting up an OnlyFans account for no reason. Besides for me to tag her. So, I'm gonna give a picture to my boyfriend and replace it with a piece of my artwork so, anyways, that's what I wanted to do. 
Oh, and it was my cat's birthday yesterday. I'm 420 as well. Buff turned eight. Also, um, yeah, I got kicked off of Instagram. And I'll try and tell you more about that in another video. So, and I think that's all my updates for now. I'm trying to make video more videos um, when I can. So, alright. Talk to you later. I hope you had a great 420. Bye.